After years of research, the finest minds of Space Fleet have achieved a technological breakthrough with the successful completion of Project Omega, which is now officially known as the Thermal Diffuser. Now, regarding the coefficient of linear expansion, or specifically, the increase for each unit of length per degree rise in temperature, we've monitored the conduction, convection, and radiation levels in phase one of the Taylor-Haley formula. Simultaneously, we measure... Welcome to Earth and Space Fleet Headquarters. Delighted you Theron delegates could make it. Bit of a journey from Venus, eh? <laughs> Pardon me, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. My name is Sir Hubert. Isn't Ambassador Volstar attending the tour? Ambassador Volstar is handling an energy crisis back on Venus. He sends his sincere apologies. Really? Dashed shame. Was looking forward to seeing the old boy again. Yeah, A-bomb! That's me! So don't be pushing my buttons, because when I get mad, I explode! Blowy! <laughs> oh, good grief. This is my favorite part. Never fear. The diffuser is here. I'll cool your heels, A-bomb. Oh, yeah? Ha! Give me your best shot! Citizens, no matter how big the atomic explosion, I can completely neutralize it. A bombs beware. The diffuser has come to town. And this is Space Fleet Assembly Building Number One. It was here the development work was conducted on our final ship, the Anesthesia. As you've seen, Space Fleet Command continues to be on the cutting edge of interplanetary rocket technology. Tell us, Sir Hubert, where is your famed Anastasia? I believe she's going through final pre-flight checks on the launch area for an upcoming mission. Now, if you'll follow me to the rocket propulsion lab, you'll see where our magnetoatomic drive was developed. And so that is why the thermal diffuser detonates automatically when the temperature reaches 10,000 degrees. And remember, loose lips sink ships. For purposes of the field test, however, an arming mechanism has been installed into Sondar's gauntlet. This volcanic asteroid has been selected for the first test of the diffuser. If all goes according to plan, the diffuser should extinguish all lava activity there within moments. Oh, and by the way, did you enjoy the film? Smashing job, Professor! Brilliant. Money... <clears throat> well spent. Mm. P.U., darling! That is two bombs for the press of one! I'm sorry, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> what? What? This from a man who plays cow pasture tic-tac-toe for intellectual challenge. <clears throat> it's 1100 hours. The test is scheduled for 1630. Colonel Dare, what is the status of your mission? I've already sent Sondar to the weapons lab for the diffuser, sir. You mean... he left before the film was over? Don't worry, Professor. We'll not spoil the ending for him. We'll just give you a quick peek at our high-security research lab. Just enough to turn you absolutely green with envy. <laughs> green with... Uh, dash it, never mind. Read it all. That was a perfectly good phrase until we went to Venus.
Why is the Weapons Development Laboratory not on the tour, Sir Hubert? Eh? Oh, highly sensitive area. Top security and all that. But we Therons are your allies, are we not? Are you saying you do not trust us? Not at all. But I do notice that one of you is missing. Um. <clears throat> Trains! Move, and quickly! Raise the alarm! Intruder alert! Seal the area! Honda! Stand aside! Security breach! Red alert, Dig! Ah! My thermal diffuser! Let's go! Operational. What happened? What did they get? Tidy package, really. One flagship, one brave Treen defector, and one Project Omega. All on express delivery to the Mekon. Star, old boy. And air is in hot pursuit. We've cruise working double time on the Kingfisher plane. She'll be ready to launch in 90 minutes. Sorry, sir. Can't wait. But a Theron transport ship? Ah, but she's got a space fleet crew aboard her now, Commander. And the sky's no longer the limit. Let's fire up the engines, Dig. Already running, sir. What there is of them? You don't say. Well then, altitude 090, Roger number one. Zero, Full thrusters on my zero, mark. Nine, zero, Three, zero, two, zero, one, zero, lift off. Zero. Don't worry, Commander. If anyone can catch the fleet's fastest ship in a slow-moving space bus, it's Dan Dare. We're through the ionosphere. Ready the atom thrusters, Dig. Uh, well, sir. We have no atom thrusters, do we? Uh, not as such, sir. I've seen roadkill that could move faster than this crate. Then I do believe it's time for a little Peabody tinkering. We'll start with the acceleration dampers. Therons are so safety conscious. What I don't understand, sir, is what the Mekon wants with our diffuser anyway. It was supposed to be a peaceful device. I doubt he'll be snuffing out atom bombs with it, Dig. More like the flame belt that keeps his forces at bay from the Therons. That evil megalomaniac! Your warriors are returning as champions to... Stop! You exhibit pride in my presence, Fesic. Never do that. All I require from you is the status of your mission. And the only word I require on this subject is... 
successful. Apologies, exalted leader. We have the thermal diffuser and the Anastasia, and as a gift for your greatness, we also bring you the traitor Sondar. Satisfactory. Very satisfactory. We are being pursued. Dan Dare, position the aft cannons and fire when ready. Just a few more minor adjustments and we should be at full buster. There. This kite's moving at a good clip now, Isa. Not good enough to catch old Annie, yet well enough to get fired upon. 30 degrees evasive action, now! Hack! Ready the forward missiles! Oh! You will have us fire on our own ship? Later, sugar. We got other business. Sorry, Colonel. Only one egg in the basket. Then one will have to do. Dig? Deflection targeting. Oh, now I got you, sir. That's using the old loaf. They've eluded the strike, sir. Fire all aft missiles concurrently. Let's see Dan Dare escape this salvo. Entering launch vectors. He has jettisoned all our missiles! Other enhancements have been made to your arm, you mechanical freak! No, do not! Fool! You have armed the thermal diffuser! Deactivate it! Only Dandare has the failsafe code. They have fired upon us! They were not locked on! I expected more from the famous Dandare. Shockwave sure slammed on their anchors, eh, Colonel? Uh, what? They, they're changing course. Vector 086. That's taking them right into the sun. Nice move. They'll slingshot around it where Venus is waiting on the other side. How close do you want to follow them, sir? Right then. Hard on their tails it is, sir. Solar disturbance, Vector 020. What is it? A sunspout. A who? Solar tornado. And it seems to be insisting we drop in. It's... It's utterly disastrous. They're simply... gone. Now, Sir Hubert, we don't know anything for a fact. The transport can withstand tremendous heat. Confound it, man! You saw it with your own eyes! Dan Deer and his gallant crew have perished within the sun. End of story. The story, I'm afraid, will not end until the thermal diffuser has its say. Good heavens! If that contraction sparks off within the sun, we'll not see another dawn. Our only hope is if Dan Dare has somehow survived. I fear it's best we alert the World Council that the end of all life in our solar system may be imminent. Temperature reaching 2,000 degrees and climbing. Direct all power to the forward thrusters. Hmm. 
have just jettisoned the drive module and the diffuser with it. Outside temperature dropping and fast. Uh, problem is, so are we. Now, 13,000 feet and dropping. Flying on instrumentation! Uh, anyone here read Theron? By the looks of this right unfriendly place, oh, oof, I knew I should have lived a better life. Woo wee! Digby, old boy, this ain't to hear after. It's a planet smack dab in the middle of the sun. I wonder if there's any life out there. Right now, I'm more concerned about life in here. Prof, any readings on the Anastasia? Receiving two emergency beacons, Dan. The Anastasia survived. But she must have separated. We'll need to get her back, sir. In my opinion, this fair on boat seen her last voyage. Woo! We'll need helmets out there. Today's weather is 200 degrees with toxic southwest winds. And as if that's not bad enough, fuel temperature is going past critical. Helmets on now. I want everyone outside. Successful. Hurry and silence that signal. We do not want to give our position away in case Dan dare survive. Do not move. No, free him and put him to work. If nothing else, the dumb brute can get out and push. from outside. Pula, you shall accompany me. I see nothing. Um, perhaps we should go back inside. I lost one of the beacon signals. The trains must have deactivated it. A lesson from the Hogan Cattle Range. On foggy mornings, know where you're stepping. What's that? Something moved. Over there. It's over here that I'm concerned about. Look out! I must say, we're in a hot spot now and no mistake! 